Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Even if you've been cleaning your bathroom or your, your pantry on the floors, well, if you've been cleaning them with warm water or something, well, you also need to degrease it. Because if you notice in some of the areas over here, yes, that is grease that's building up. So, well, I guess that's the next step. But we'll show you an easy way to go ahead and remove it. That doesn't get you on your hands and knees. I'm going to put this on too. So as you can see, yes, this is, this is just an ordinary pantry room, nothing special about it. This is, well, this is just like it is, just like every ordinary home. Well, unless you're lucky enough to be in one of those huge mansions or you're in a small place, but a lot of these things apply. Because part of it is, yes, I do have a cleaning lady and she does the same thing every week, but sometimes like this, I mean, it's been several years since this has been cleaned up. I know, I don't do it every year for a spring cleaning. And usually what happens is I'm reminded of it when I see something that really gets to the point of, uh, well, let's just say either you make time for it or you wait till it gets to the point where you can't stand it anymore. And guess what time it is. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is clean this off to get the degrease. Now, you might have a degreaser and there's a lot of good products out on the market, but we're just going to use ordinary paint thinner because that's something that a lot of people might have and fight the temptation. Now this one right here, clean strip paint thinner. This one is, uh, I think this is from Home Depot or Lowe's. Fight the temptation just to go ahead and pour it all over the floor because it does splatter. And paint thinner is probably really not the best thing to get all over yourself. It is paint thinner, after all. And it is flammable, folks. Oh. Don't use it in an area where there's a, a water heat or anything. This is only for this room, so. Okay, it will. Well, actually, this is a glass bowl that we use over and over and over for things because since it's glass, it, the stuff doesn't absorb into it. And we use it over and over and over. And of course, you put the lid back on because you don't want to sit there and breathe it. And typically, what I would have done is use the other. Well, actually, this is the handle. I would typically put it on one of these sponge mops because it makes it easy for control. Um, except somehow, let's just say part of it's missing. Somebody so. was helping and they threw the dirty old part away, uh -huh. which is what we use for cleaning. <laughs> mm -hmm. So guess what we have? We have this other mop right here that we are just going to go ahead and use. Yes, instead. So let's set this aside. Actually, we'll, we'll put this over here. Okay, so. Yes, it is live. Okay, tape delayed. <laughs> But this is actually how it's happening, because you know, it's like, if I did everything perfectly... You remember those... those how would you relate? Those TV shows, they have, they do it multiple times to get it right. They don't make mistakes because they do it multiple times. Okay, so... <laughs> see, you can, you can go ahead and laugh at me, because as you can see, I don't normally clean all these things. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get it in these areas that have the grease. And then we're going to just let it kind of do its work. And it smells open windows and doors. Ooh, course. yeah, it's a good thing we opened all the windows. In fact, oh, hold on a minute. we got the windows on that side. We don't have the windows on this side. You know, mostly because on this room, the windows are, hey, you got to, they basically, folks, if you come by, you're not going to get in them from the outside because we have to force them closed and they lock like a rock. I know. They've also got an alarm system on them, too, so... <laughs> so we are just putting these in these areas. Yeah. And remember, I have to remind people again, this is a flammable substance. You don't use it in an enclosed area, and you don't use it in um, any area where there's a flame. There's no... Nothing. And don't smoke around it. That's right. And don't wear good shoes around it because it will dissolve the thing on your feet. Now, as you can see, we've been doing this for the camera, and it would have been a whole lot smarter to start back here and exit out that yeah, way. Yeah, but since you could, doesn't make any difference about walking on it, though, so. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you can see that I just, like, box myself in. So, um, but no, because not that you would ever do anything like that, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, I probably should put more stuff on it. I'm not con so concerned about dragging it across this. Just try to cover it. You know, Generally, you know, this isn't the recommended method, but the grease has been sitting on this floor for so long. It has not been touched in about two years that I know of. I think it's longer than that. Yeah, so 
But Bill, I tried cleaning it off with other stuff and it didn't budge. Oh, you did? Yeah. The oh, commercial wait, wait. stuff wouldn't move, which is why we're hitting it with the worst stuff possible. Woo, this is strong. That's right. So if you are starting to fill the... I guess you can't because you're watching the film. But if you are starting to fill the vapors, it's time to leave the room. That's right. So with that, it's time to go to the other room. If you're wondering why you would ever use paint on the floor, well, this is actually more of a last resort because we tried already using commercial... Um, degreaser on it and it really was not working with a whole lot of work so of course you know this is like one of the little construction things you, we went ahead and used paint thinner but we have to neutralize it afterwards we're using a combination of bleach and water some bleach more water and as you notice I am wearing goggles instead of my glasses because even if you do wear glasses you need to have your goggles over them or just wear your goggles because as you notice, the goggles come up and cover your face a lot more than do glasses because the point is, you, you don't want to get anything in your eyes. Remember that. The point is, you don't want to get anything in your eyes. And number two, you don't want your floor to get in this condition to begin with. Well, that would be preferable. Well, because we shouldn't have to get to the point where we've got to use paint thinner to clean a floor. Because okay. you'll find people that will go out and get gasoline to do it, which is not right. Yeah. Because gasoline is more readily available. I've the paint thinner? Yeah, because it's go out to the car and siphon out of the oh. tank. I can't imagine using it. But, it, but they do. Paint wow. thinner is better, but it's, 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 it's not as dangerous, but you still shouldn't use it, except for an open space with no... Um, with ventilation. With ventilation and no flame by it. Otherwise, you know, but the only other way you can do this, we're talking folks, is steel wool and commercial cleaner on your hands and knees. Yeah, and part of it is, I'm trying to avoid getting on that hands and knees bit. Yeah. Okay, and part of it is because we didn't exactly get in all the lines, I'm putting this all over the floor. Yeah. So, and this is just, you know, this is, next time it won't be as big a mess to clean it up, but <laughs> if you can see how much different this floor looks now. Well, maybe that's for other people. What because I know you, you're always perfectly clean. And part of it is you're like, how could it get like that? Yes, I do have a cleaning lady that comes in once a week, and she cleans the floor every week. Okay. But she doesn't use all these degreasers on it. And the trick is, most people don't have cleaning ladies to begin with, but the cleaning lady came with the house, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, she kind of did. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, so... I know, but the point is, it's not something that we... Well, no it's people, not something that you totally ignore because it does get cleaned every single week. Yeah, and the trick is, the problem is, is that most people don't put wax on their tile floors anymore. And we don't put wax on the tile floor, it builds up grime and it sometimes it gets to the point when you can't get it off. We do have a floor stripper too, but it's a little bit big for this room. <laughs> well, you know, the point about the cleaning lady is that, number one, it, it does get done every week. The second point is, is that even if you have a cleaning lady, you may have to have either some special assignments for her, or you may still need to be doing some cleaning yourself. Yeah. Because don't think that it all is magically clean, because maybe they don't do windows. No. I mean, because they have a tendency to do the same thing every single week. Well, yeah, because it's the routine. You know? yep. it's, it's mostly our fault that this wasn't done. This We should never have let it get to this way. That's the trick. It's what this is what happens if you let it go too far. You have to do some things that you shouldn't do, but paint thinner has got a purpose and that's one of the purposes. I wouldn't use turpentine. You wouldn't? No, turpentine has got more more uh, more fumes than this stuff. Okay. And, th and this is just standard paint thinner. There's nothing really No, it's about just it. what the cheapest stuff that you can get. You know, if you're a commercial painter, you go get your cans refilled by the gallon at the Thing, so. Yeah, and part, yeah, it is. It just happens to be what we have in the garage. Yeah. Did I get it? It looks like I got all the yeah. spots. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's if I just neutralizing it this way. It's just it because I mean I can tell over here the smell is mostly gone now. Yeah. And there's nothing like neutralizing odor and stopping action like bleach and water. So. Yeah, that kind of kills everything, doesn't it? Yeah. The jar because we're gonna we're gonna put some polish on this for the day which should have had a while but you don't want to put polish on a dirty floor I mean I think that I grew up in an era when you polished all your floors oh you did yeah so well part of it is also 
it's like you don't polish your floor every week. It's not something. No, no you do it once every week. now and then. So, but you do put polish. You put polish down. It's a barrier that's easier cleaned up than just um, tile. So. Oh, just like on your car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So on to the next step. So it is really cold inside. <laughs> So as you can, that's probably why I'm not wearing my swimsuit right now. And as you can hear from the wind outside, it is really rather cold, even though we're here in sunny Southern California. Now, one of the things that a lot of people don't do is they don't polish the floor, nor do they wax the floor. But this one right here, this happens to be a, it's an institutional. This is a high gloss floor finish self-polishing. So we're going to just go ahead and do this. This is actually really easy. And I don't know why more people don't do it, because it is really easy to do. We're just going to go ahead and put a bead down the middle. Okay, that's a big bead. That's a big bead. Just <laughs> and one more, and I think that would be it. I think that's a big bead. We're going to start with there. <laughs> I, I know. A bead down the that, That's a, as they call that, that's a splash, folks. Well, you know, bead, splash. So... It's more than just this little area right there. Yeah. But most people don't anymore because they say they're non-polished. They don't need to be polished. Well, oh, you mean the manufacturers say they're still Manufacturers say they don't, so they don't. It makes it a heck of a lot easier to keep it clean if there's polish or wax on it. Well, let me put it a different way. I guess you don't have to wax your car, but if you do, yeah. it's a lot better. That's right. Because they they'll tell you that the, the finish is permanent on the car until it wears off from the heat <laughs> yeah, I know. or the weather. See that bead helped me polish all of that over there. Yeah. See that's not that hard to do. No, it, it, not, it takes no time to put a little bit more, and then you're finished. Yeah. So of course, I would make certain I did back myself into a corner, but. Well, did you notice this time I started over there? Yep. So we're just going to do. Another fat bead. So we've actually used canned wax in two other rooms already today. Yeah. But we didn't figure anybody wanted to see us hand polishing hardwood floors, so. Well, they probably did want to see me. I'm well, yeah, I'll see you hand polishing a hardwood floor. But we'll let you see your hand polishing a hardwood floor, hopefully, in a few days if it gets warmer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is the part where they probably wish they had some swimsuit on. Yeah. Because <laughs> so. it is cold, folks. We're standing out the car, out the thing, trying to keep the lights on. And... <laughs> but if you look, I mean, oh, I can see the shine on it right now. Can you? Yeah. Okay. And this is... All I'm doing is looking through the... the the side plate on the camera, it is shiny. Well, and part of it is, is we did have to halt some of the things we were doing because it was raining. Actually, today there is a 60% chance of rain, and we also have high winds. Yeah. So the atmospheric pressure changes a little bit, so things take a little bit longer to dry. Sometimes it's not best. It's best not to paint when it's raining. Well, yeah, because we stained two floors yesterday that we intended to put on camera, and decided we needed to stain those floors real quick. Well, because it, it, it didn't dry until this morning because it was so damp outside. Yeah. It's not like there's any heat in this building. I know, even though we do have a heater. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to let it go ahead and dry right there. Let's fall. 